Hello again. <clears throat> Wanted to uh, make another video and show you what I've done in the last little while. I'm going to be working at this all afternoon, so. But I wanted to show this before I rip it apart and do something else. Um, I still have the eccentric coil. It's an old uh, microwave oven fan. And uh, basically, I stripped everything off of it and ground out this area right here. Um, uh, first, I want to mention uh, yesterday I went to the Salvation Army store and bought another microwave oven for four bucks and got the fan out of it and stripped everything off of it and ground it out like that other one. But this one is much, much thicker core compared to that one. And I tried it out. <clears throat> it didn't generate as much uh, voltage and also it. Uh, it tended to slow the wheel down. Now, not as much as that um, um, conventional pickup coil I had in the last video, but it did. It, I think the extra iron on there uh, isn't what you really want. And also the gauge of wire on this, um, on this coil right here is about uh, <clears throat> 24, whereas uh, these ones are more like a 30 which jives with another video I've seen. Um, Thane C. Hines uh, does cool experiments with uh, eccentric pickup coils <clears throat> that actually uh, accelerate the wheel. <laughs> Anyways, those are good to watch. I wanted to show you on this video that I have another coil that's identical to this one. Um, it's been taken off of the core. I've ha have gone through so many of these coils and to use the uh, magnet wire, you know, stripped them off, made them into other coils, uh, you know, gone through a lot of them and wish that I didn't because now I'm wanting them, the cores, <laughs> of course, which is always the case. But anyways, wanted to show you uh, this one has uh, laminate iron, just like this other one, uh, as the core, and it's on the wheel. And I wanted to show you uh, that the same amount of copper, and the same type of core really, because that other conventional coil I wasn't completely convinced, because there's so many differences. Anyways, get her going. This will get up to 14 volts. Oh wait, no, uh, 11 volts this one puts out. So this one puts out 11, this one puts out 14. I've tuned the uh, circuits a little better. This one's actually just above 14. That one's right on 11, pretty much. Well, it was a minute ago. <laughs> I'm sure it won't be now. Okay, well, it's almost up to speed. I have this, uh, again, hooked up to a rectifier, turning it into DC, and then the lead's coming over here. I have the positive already on the motor. And I'm gonna hook up the negative. Kinda hard to do. Okay, the motor's running. You can hear the wheel slowing down. Now I'm going to stop it with my hand. And I hope you can hear the wheel slowing just like that conventional coil in my last video. Uh, the homage on these two coils is identical, well, within point, uh, within a tenth of an ohm. Blowing still, voltage is down. 
and of course this one still behaves the same as the last video. And it slowed right down. I know on the video it looks like it's still moving really, really fast, but believe me, it slowed right down. I should put a clicker on it. I'm going to let go. Voltage slowly starting to climb, just like the other coil. The wheel's still going very slow. Anyways, wanted to share that with you, and uh, probably another video this evening. Because uh, I do have another one of these coils uh, with a smaller, thinner core like this one on my uh, my smoke station over there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hijack one of those and uh, make another one just like this one. Anyways, there's your update. Till next time.